What's up, Gilly Crew, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, just a quick reminder. This is not a promotion video of a company trying to sell airsoft guns. I'm not trying to push children under the age of 18 into airsoft or show anything that should not be shown on YouTube. This is just to help my friends in the airsoft community learn how to fix stuff quickly and efficiently and do it right, which I probably won't, but first time, first time. This, guys, is a KWA gas blowback mag. As you see, it's kind of like popping stuff out all over the place. Like, there just went the pin. So, we'll set that to the side. We'll get into that in a just, just a second. So, this is what typical KWA mags look like without the tap, obviously. That is an added feature. We'll get into that as well. But the feed lips, as you guys can see, typical KWA. Okay, well this one here had some busted feed lips because it took a hard fall. And unlike the mag, which is full metal, we have our new feed lips here, which are pretty much a 3D printed version or a very polymer -y fill, more than like 3D printed. But anyways, to install this, there is a little screw right here that you have to remove with the small Allen key. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes out. Because the feed lips completely busted off of this and it cracked so bad that it actually removed the thing around the gas. And as you guys can see, the gas valve has been removed for safety reasons to make sure that the mag is completely empty before working on it. Because you know safety first. You don't want a mag to blow up in your face. Even airsoft guns can do that. So we'll take our new feed lip here. Make sure it all lines up because where that pin fell out, let me remove that real quick. There is these little holes right here that a pin goes all the way through to the other side. To right there. And that's what holds your feed lip in place as you can see the hole there so you want to line that up that will snap into place just like that we'll take our pin I think it's this side it goes in easier one side than the other so we'll just place that through here make sure everything's lined up we got our hammer off screen, so I'll put that in here in a minute, because I left it on the floor. And my assistant is on the other side of the room, so I'm not gonna make her move. But we put that little screw back in with our Allen key to hold it in place. Just like that so then you guys can see that and as you see I have the pen started where it needs to be and I'm trying to figure out which side is the easiest to slide it through because you want to make sure everything is lined up so that you, you can actually see the light through the hole there and everything looks to be lined up pretty well just in case I'm going to take my Phillips head screwdriver and just gently push down on that Make sure the, that everything is working correctly. So let me set that there. And then we're gonna gently, let me put it on the edge. Maybe that will help the sound. It does not. So I'm gonna do it off screen real fast. And then that is back in place so it will not catch on your magwell or anything like that to hold it up from latching into your gun so just a quick reminder it is airsoft this is a Russian CQB tap so what that does is makes your mags compatible with HPA since this is a gas blowback it is inconsistent with just the regular 
propane or CO2 style gases, green gas, not CO2, green gas. That's the word I was looking for. But you want to make sure that's all the way in so then your mag does not leak or have any issues. So we're going to start the thread. Make sure you do not cross thread them because then you will have bigger problems than it's worth. And simple enough. Now we have two working KWA gas blowback mags with CQB taps, the Russian ones. And that is how it's done. Just a quick little fix to help the community. And if you have a gas blowback KWA and the feeding lips break, you guys know how to change them yourself now. So until next time, Gilly Crew, I will see you all in the field.